things are about to get good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Rapid City, South Dakota, weighing in at 174 pounds. Big Daddy Baker! The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day, from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos. And Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Just look at the Judgment Day. Powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition beg for mercy. But J.D. McDonough is always focused, always in control, and you cannot overlook him. The way this man moves around the ring is like an advanced course in precision. Everyone better take notes. Oof. Did you hear that thud? Carefully placed stump to the arm. Connecting with a standing moonsault. A move like that is what sets you apart from other superstars. That hit wiped the sadistic smile on McDonough's face. Into the pin attempt. No, he kicks out. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Oof. We've seen J.D. McDonough overcome the odds time and time again. Tell me, Corey, how is he able to accomplish that? Simply put, Cole, McDonough is full of spit and vinegar. Even if he's got a clear disadvantage, he'll make up for that with determination. And if that fails, then there's creative interpretation of the rules. What are we going to see here? Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Just never had a chance to block any of those. And another just non-stop aggression. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD needs to be resourceful in this situation. Side rush and leg sweep, takedown, and, and heavy hands to follow. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh, that can rock you. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. 
He is looking to do some serious harm. situation both wrists captured him that was nasty boom catches the kick spectacular counter into a dragon screw boom boot nice both arms captured and vitriolic stomps to stomp in every single part of his body. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Running knee lift. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He is getting shredded apart right now. Yeah, and he keeps struggling to slow the opposition down. Up into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. We might just be seconds away from the end. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. Food salt. Consecutive high risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. And now, about do it, folks. Here is your winner. And this has to be a deflating loss for J.D. McDonough. J.D. isn't going to let this loss slow him down, though. Think of it as fuel for him moving forward.